Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can simply rig a piston like this one. To rig itself, you can move the pivot and you, the piston itself can react for the pivot position. Like that. So you can implement it in your like, pulse surface model. And you can see like right here. How I'm going to use it like... You can use it to connect to other surfaces. And if you move the plate itself, like the piston going to react to it. Exactly like extend or de-extend and like that. With that, let's begin. So right now I have this basic and simple piston. Um, and right now I'm gonna, I need to rig it. So basically it will be simple to make animation out of it. So at first I will start right here. Let me just show my 3D cursor. This is my 3D cursor and I will start by implementing an armature. Go to the object options, visibilities, I will view bot, view bot display and make it in front so you can see it in front of other objects. I will go to edit mode, just simple one. I'm resetting its head to be in the same position as the still, so I can like rotate it immediately or just rotate the bomb itself. Right. Same thing. I'm just like simply putting it right at the end of the, of the first piston or the base of the piston. I'm taking the other bot, I'm taking the 3D cursor to be in the center for it, so I don't like put the, the center for the second bone to be out, like not in the same, because that will affect its position. Duplicate it, and just like take the tail for it, and just like shift S, then selection to cursor, like that. And right now I have like these two bones for the base and for the for the base and for the hydraulic itself. The second part I'm gonna need is basically like second bone for the pivot that gonna rotate in it. So I'm gonna just select this select the tail of the bone for the base itself and just hit E to extrude it and this will make me like take another bone just make it big enough so you can see it and move it around like like that is enough for me same for this one hit x like that and these two will know like why we are we needed them like just in a minute also this this bone itself you can like scale it down because we only need it to rotate itself so you can like just scale it down a bit so you can see what's going on here. Also, this is just basic like symbol symbol base for the piston, so it can move with it. But I don't have anything right now on it. So right now for the rig itself, I'm gonna make a second the last one which basically gonna move the piston from the base. Right now what I'm gonna do is take the this the pivot the pivot bones, the two pivot bones, and make the main bone to be keep offset. You can hit Ctrl B and keep offset. So right now, when I go to, if I hit Ctrl Tab to go to the pose mode, if I move this, this main bone can move everything with it too. Now the second part is to make the base bone, this bone itself, to be offset by this by the pivot bone. By its pivot. So when I go move this one, you can move move this one too. Same with this one. Offset by the pivot. Same this. Right now, the we need to make a constraints for it. Why constraints? So we are when we are moving the piston and we move it like to here, we are moving the pivot or the end of the piston to be right here. This this one for the second part for the hydraulic part should be rotating to the head of the second pivot and same with this one should be rotated to the second pivot so we need these two to be constraints to be to look to each other so how can we do that but first three i'm gonna name each one so i know what i'm going to do you can easily like look to the one itself i know its name but this is gonna speed up the process when you have more and more rigging around your hard surface modeling itself so I'm gonna quickly just name 
all the all the points itself. And now I'm gonna add the constraints, which is the damn track. It's basically gonna make it like to look to the second pivot itself. It's gonna be very helpful to just make it exactly look at it immediately. Just take the uh, as a target at the as the piston rig, and then take pivot two. Because I called pivot two, so if you didn't name it, you're gonna have like 0.3 or 0 0.4, the default name for it. And as simple as that, this pawn started to looking at this, at the pivot itself. So if I move this one right now, it's gonna, it's gonna look at it immediately. Like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the second pawn. I'm gonna add in the damned track, taking the target as the piston rig. Then taking the bone to be the pivot one. And right now, if I if you look like it, right now, if I move this first, the second pivot, like the head rig gonna move itself. The piston can move. As simple as that. If I move the main bone, you can see like we are moving all the bones. Right now, hit, I will hit Alt G to reset the the bone. And right now, with that done, the piston rig is basically ready. We need just to like the piston gonna the design for this piston is just to keep in the same position as it is. So I'm just gonna lock its position. I'm gonna lock like its Y position. Now I'm gonna assign each part for each one. So you can go to the edit mode and check this box, which is basically the lock object modes. Especially if you have in the pose mode, you can like click on the object itself. You can you are not gonna be locked in the same mode itself. So if I select this piston part, the second piston part, which is basically the hydraulic part, then selecting the bone itself and hit Ctrl B, then I'm gonna add an empty group, not automatic, not involved, just an empty group. Same with the second part, the base part, select the bone, select the part, then empty group, and this shortcut is Ctrl B by the way. Right now I'm gonna take this one, I'm take the base piston itself, then go to the vertex group, hit tab, a to select all the vertices, then go to the to the base spawn and then assign it. This basically gonna give you like if I hit Ctrl Z and show you like the weight map. This all of it is Y. It is blue, which means it's not affected by any any sort of point itself. If I go to the edit mode right now, hit A, select all the all of them, go to the base spawn and assign. And go right now to the weight map. You can see it's red. But I'm not gonna be affected by any other point. If a hard surface that you you need this point to be just affecting, you need single point to affect a single model, not affecting any other part. Same with this one. Same with the hydraulic point, hydraulic part. Hit tab. Go to the edit mode A. Then go to the point you get it, the hydraulic point, which is this one. Hit tab A and assign it. And for the base itself, like I'm gonna assign it to be the main ones, so, and I'm moving this one. This one gonna move with it. Right now, if you move the bone around, you see like all of them is moving. If I take this one, this part, or the second pivot, and move it, you can see like the hydraulic part is working. However, we have this, we have a problem right now, which is basically like if I move it too far, it can rock right. If I move it too close, then it can be like coming from the other side itself. So how we can fix that? This symbol, you can go to, to the bone itself, which we had the damped constraints on it. And we can, do, we can do a limit distance. This basically will give us like to move specific position. Like we can't, we can't exceed this position. So right now I'm taking the target as the piston brick, taking the the pivot, the first pivot, not the second one, which because we are changing the position, affecting or the distance is gonna increase when we move away from the first pivot. Then it's the pivot inside, and the distance can take it immediately when you select the point. So right now, if I move the second pivot, uh, the hydraulic point not gonna affect. If I maybe get it closed, this one gonna be like still we have this problem which make it super close to it. So how we can fix the second part? Very simple. Just add another constraint which has the limit distance. Again, take the, the target as a piston rig. Before you choose the bone, change the cram rig to be outside. Then move the piston, the second pivot, move the second pivot to be the close as you want it. Like how close you want the piston to move, move it, to be moved inside the base. Then 
why we're moving it because it's gonna take automatically the distance when we select the bone so select the pivot one and right now it will take the distance automatically so right now when I move this one I can move outside move it inside and I'm gonna do that so as simple as that so right now I implemented a simple plate, basically an example of like how the rig gonna work with the plate itself. You gonna rig it like with the hard surface model exactly. So right now I have this plate. What I want from this plate is basically like to move up, and the piston should move or move like with it to extend or the extend like that. Like if I move it up. The, the piston should follow it and like move up and extend itself like that. As we have a single bond, this way this one gonna be the rig for the plate itself. I just like added single bond, extended a bit. Select the object first, then select the bond, hit Ctrl V, add with the empty group. Go to the object data, then hit to go to the edit mode, hit A so to select all, then assign. Right now what I want, I want this on the second pivot let me just show the name so I won't get confused second pivot uh, what I wanted is basically to f to have like I was started from here like this and basically like to follow up and down follow the position of the plate plate point so firstly I'm gonna move the plate point I'm gonna move the piston in a position that basically gonna connect like where I want it to be connected to the plate itself then like go to the second pivot, hit Alt G to reset its position. Then go to the constraints. For right now, what we need is we need to when I move the bond, the pivot, the second pivot should follow it. So we can easily do that if it's if you are doing the same rig. However, like you just if you're doing the same rig, you can like shift shift select both of them, then Control B, then keep offset. However, since we have two rigs. Then this can be different, but it's easy still. Go to the second pivot, then uh, hit, go to the constraints and copy location. Copy location is basically gonna move when the other bone or the target bone gonna move or object maybe you have. The target, give it to the rig itself and to the bone. You, we can see like it's following its position like constantly, like without any offset. How we can fix that? We can just hit this option which is offset if you hit it hit alt g to reset this machine make sure it's resetted and then move this pivot exactly where it should start it so for me for example i'm gonna hit it right, right here i want it to be right here to start out or maybe this from here so when i move this one you can see like the head rake or the piston it's moving with it i'm gonna duplicate the piston right now Change its position because I'm I want it to so to be right here. And like that, basically like the second the second piston is ready. Like if I move if I hit the render mode only and just move the plate itself, you can see like the piston is moving with it. Also, like implement the same same trick, which basically like the limitation. Like right now, it's the maximum distance I want for the pistons. So what we're gonna do is basically like go to the edit mode, just add a second one, second uh, bone, just to give it the distance that I need it to limit it from. I wanted to add a simple way to add like a third and fourth one to the other side, third and fourth piston to the other side. A simple way to do it is just to add a mirror com modifier to the piston itself. So, so just like select one of the parts of the modifier, go to the modifiers tab, then add after the amateur or the rigging modifier, just add a mirror. Then uh, make sure the mirror object to be the plate itself. I hit render only, you can see like 
how it's smooth how the plate and how the all the pistons move together <laughs> 